all welcome back to my channel if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel um and put on my post notifications so you know when i post but me and baby's back and we kind of just want to like talk about depression healing so like for the last couple of years i feel like i've seen you happier for less mm. what you mean by less it feels like levels like it feels like level one level two all the way up mm -hmm. and i've seen you happy at level one and get to level two and still see level one stuff and be like that ain't nothing yeah i don't true. know if that makes sense like as so you're talking about like living in the moment so like yeah for example when i got my billboard like i was so excited getting ready for the day yeah and then on that day i was already like all right so what's next yeah for sure or like even, i looked down on it in a sense yeah like i think um yeah like or just anything that was like successful to you like you would be more hype about um hearing about the news mm -hmm. in the beginning and then when you actually achieve it you kind of like be like ah uh, that's nothing or almost to the point where it puts you like in this weird depression yeah you know what i'm saying so I feel like in ways like I've done that as well. Almost like I'll be like, "Yo, this is gonna happen." Or I'm working mad hard for this, and then as I get it, I'm like, "That was nothing," and I'm focused on something else. Yeah. And I kind of put myself. In I feel like with you, you kind of more so. You were like, eh, it's, "It's all right. Yeah, it's all right." In the process, so like before it happens, like really? for example, like when you have a show, yeah. like I feel like you are always like. Like, I'm like, yo, babe, you got a show. I'm excited. Like, how do you feel? And you're like, oh, I'm going to knock it out. Like, we're going to do it. Like, you know, we're we going to get it done. Like, you wrote nonchalant, but then really? on the day of the show, you'd be like, nah, that was a good-ass show. Like, yeah. you live in that moment. Oh, yeah. It's it's before. Oh, man. I do do that. Yeah. I do see that. You downplay yeah. it before it happens. And yeah. then when it happens, you like, I fucking killed that shit. Yeah, for yeah, sure. For sure. Oh, I, you know what's crazy? <laughs> that was a great point because I'm going to be honest with you. That is what I do with my depression. Mm. Like when I'm going through something or like anxiety in itself, I make it like, not maybe not nonchalant, but I like make it the worst. Like, ugh, like this shit is, I ain't nothing. I ain't gonna be able to make this out. Yeah. This ain't gonna, and I'll do some like really Off harsh things mm -hmm. to myself. Mm -hmm. And then once I necessarily achieve or like get past that stage, like, I'm kind of like, yo, I killed that, right? Yeah. And it's like, you actually drove everybody crazy. For the <laughs> in, the, last... in, the, in the process. <laughs> yes. You know, it's like, you know, like you get yes. a wild driver. This thing's yeah. like throwing the most in the fight. He's like, yo, we got there. Like, we got there. It's like, yo, yeah, we did get there yeah. fast, but shit, I was scared. Like, <laughs> so like, you you hit the corners, right? I'm driving with my dad. Yo. Oh, Jesus. Did you call it your father? I'll be like, let me put this yo, girl on the in way the back he, seat. I'll be like, yo. The way he be hitting the brakes, I'll be like, <laughs> the crazy thing is I can't, I have to look at the road because if I don't, I'll get like car sick. Yo. And I never get car sick. But that's the way yeah. that I deal with my, my anxiety and my depression. It's like, I will hit them corners. Like, yeah. I will really be on some like, yo, my life is over. The yep. worst thing. I'm gonna die. It's yep. So like that night. Yo. Let me tell y'all. First of all. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> I'm really not. Me. I. We got a good night's rest. I'm sleeping. My man wakes me up. And how he wakes me up? It wasn't like a tap. It wasn't like a bag. It was like, babe, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and I was like, what? No. I was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, I'm gonna die. And I was like, babe, go to sleep. Got me up talk to my ear off about everything that was going on and i'm listening because you know i want him to let it out and then right after he lets it out he falls right to sleep now i'm stuck being up i was yo pissed, when i babe. tell you i'm gonna come clean when i said everything to you i felt so much like <laughs> i felt bad and look morning. at me i know you took I was it on. like you i literally seen you take it on i literally have seen you like take on my depression my anxiety all of my feelings literally and be like now i mm -hmm. now i'm worried now yeah. is he gonna die it's over it's like, like you know what I'm saying? it's like uh when you call your friend and you like yeah i gotta move but it's only a couple things and you get there this is <laughs> <laughs> like oh oh you i need to get my good right. 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 like, like that's you gotta what fit it's like, like you could go to the cookout right. after this like, yo, we like, gonna get drinks after. All right, man, let's, let's lit. A little lit. We're like, yo, just could you grab that bed? Get the other side of the... Ooh, I've what? been there. Yo, I've been there. Oh, my 
God. Yeah, that's how I, that's how my yeah. show is now. I'll fucking unpack it on you. And then be like, yo, matter of fact, could you just watch this? I'm gonna go pick up the truck. <laughs> I'd be like, and I'm sitting waiting for hours. <laughs> that's you. Yeah, that is me. Oh, oh my God, gosh. that's horrible. It's okay, that's babe. It's yeah, okay. that is bad. That is so fucking okay. bad. I mean, I'm trying. So the deal is, as of lately, this has probably been like at times like my most depressed that I want to say. Mm -hmm. Like my most like I think that is probably like if I'm being real, like probably like um, like lately as I'm on like this road to like figure out what life is and like where exactly do I fit and where's things for me and how do I see things and just um, finding happiness altogether. When I do go through adversity, yeah. I pick up all of the things that I made numb mm -hmm. so that I can get, like, so I can have good spaces. Right. Like, so for instance, like, like, in, like my new shit right now, like the things that I be going through that's kind of got me like down, I'll go back to my grandmother would mm -hmm. be like, damn, I miss her. Mm -hmm. Talk about my grandfather. Talk about my stepfather. I'll like pick up all of the problems or the like the depressed like the depressed spaces mm -hmm. and put them all on top of this already new what you're going through. Yeah. So it's like, what I, the fuck? I like, feel that. I do that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, why am I mixing? This shit with this, and they have nothing to do with each other. Yeah, you know nothing. what I'm saying. Like, and you're just hurting yourself more. But this has something to do with the box that I was telling you about. Hundred percent. Because so, you like that. Yeah. Because you do the same thing. Oh my god. Like you're never like I got one thing that I'm depressed. I'll about. make it worse on myself. Why do we do that? <laughs> well, I, explain explain the box situation because so, I agree. Yeah. So how I I'm telling it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, babe. Damn. Yeah, that thing's serious. How I think about the box is. Let's wrap this up. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I have this box in my head, and in this box is all of the things that I have went through. Like whether it's trauma, whether it's um, you know, like uh, losing people, or like really heavy things, and I put it in this box so that I don't have to deal with it. And I put it way back deep in my mind and there are times when I'm depressed or when I'm going through it and I will go back and open up that box like depression for me is like leaving out of the club and a girl when she got heels on she's been wearing heels all night and you get that like that tilt like that ankle give out on you that's how quick like I can get into depression like I'm 50% happy 50% depressed yeah it's like at any moment that box can just open up and my whole mind can be swarmed with everything that I've been going through throughout the years. Yeah. And I will look down on myself. Now I feel like I'm not worthy. Yeah. I feel like it's the worst thing to feel. I'm trying to figure out when did like this spiritual journey for me started. I feel like it started right before my brother passed. Yeah, I mean, I don't even think. Oh, yes, it was right before because it, right before. it felt like. During the process, you were like because I was really depressed on, on that time. Yeah, right? but like you was using him as like a crutch, like mm -hmm. helping you to like stay up. I do mm -hmm. remember that. Um, but like going through the whole process, I've like learned so much about myself. And although I'm not healed, I'm not at my perfect uh, space or best space. But I've learned how I'm learning how to navigate through like my depression, and I feel like you are too. In a sense, I feel like we kind of help each other to navigate through it. I think it's two things. I think that it's two things. I feel like, um, I want to say like our relationship is like probably a little bit unique because it really blossomed during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that probably was like the bond that kept us all together. I got to like exactly see who you are and I feel like you did the same with me. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I like see you growing differently through your depression stages or like just times where you're just a little bit down and the reason I, I would say that is sometimes when you were depressed I would be sad or a, a phase of depression it based off, off of you. yeah like mm -hmm. it was like secondhand depression mm -hmm. and um, the same I know for a fact yeah. when I was going through certain things 
that you would take it on mm -hmm. as if though it was your own. Like sometimes you would be more mad about situations yes. than I would be. Still. And I'd be like, still sometimes. Yeah. I'd be but like, I'd be having to detach my yeah, emotions. Yeah. And the, and the deal is, I want to say like there was times in my life where like I've always depended on somebody Some. to like help me get through certain things, mm -hmm. whether that be like. Um, like a friend or like my grandmother mm -hmm. and then when me and you got close like I felt like we were dealing with things um, together but like it's new is we both are actually owning our lows by ourselves. yeah like I feel myself leaving from you during the day and knowing that you're dealing with something on your own that you're like I know that if it gets worse I get to call my man and mm -hmm. he's gonna help me get through it mm -hmm. and the same for me like I'll be like yo I know once I necessarily once I get into a good spot that I can bring it to you so that you could be like not so much an opinion but more so like support yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah whereas before like we used to both go through something and as soon as it would happen it was like almost like how would you do it and it was like, all right, I'm gonna take on yours, you take on mine. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, all right, so now like, I'm driving, you. yeah, mm -hmm. well, I'm driving you to your crib, and you driving me to my crib. Yeah. It felt like that, like, yo, what yeah, the that fuck? don't make sense. Yeah, but yeah. in a sense, you're going, well, the reason why I'm driving you is because you were a little intoxicated. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's not like just doing it. It yeah. would be like, well, you technically are no shape to drive. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like more so like, I right, I know I'm dumb tired. I know I gotta pee. I know I probably had too many <laughs> drinks. I ain't supposed to be on this motherfucker, but I'm gonna figure this shit out. Yeah. And it's the dangers of like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? What you can run into what you can run on the way into. home. You could get yeah. arrested, you could fucking get yeah. in a car accident, you could kill somebody, you could yeah. kill yourself. It's like, that's what this depression role sometimes like feels like. Mm -hmm. But I will say, um, talking about it at times, or like just going through life and then just being able to like, have somebody to, witness the parts of you that people don't see mm -hmm. um and then having it where it's like i don't know if you know this well i know you know this but like after certain phases i enjoy how we celebrate mm -hmm. like once it's almost like taking an exam like in, in like passing yeah or it's like yo got through that test let's party and it would be yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like anytime I've been in a dark hole and I'm like, yo, I'm ready to go out. You'd be like, Celebration. let's do it. Yeah, I'll be with it. Wow. Sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And vice versa. Like yeah. once you like, yo, I'm good. I'm like, let's take it to go get food. Yeah. Let's go to a restaurant that you've never been to before. Let's go to a fucking play. Yeah. Let's go to, you know what I'm For saying? Sure. Like something that we never did before just so that you could be like a happiness on top of getting through what, what, what I was going through. Yeah. I feel like with me, I, I don't know, it's weird because through my whole life, I feel like I've always dealt with my problems on my own. And during that time, I always push people away. Like, that was oh, yeah, something I that I that. used to do. I used yeah. to always push people away when I would get like really depressed or going through something. And I feel like through my journey now, I've learned to not push people away, but to say what's going on with me so that people can give me that boundary. Yeah. So it's That's like true. a healthy medium really. to be like, hey, just let you know, hey guys, I'm depressed. <laughs> if I do disappear, or sometimes if you catch me at a good point, I'll probably tell you. I remember one time, um, uh, we we weren't the greatest at that moment. And I remember, um, I just felt like I was just like, I had so much on me. Like I was so overwhelmed, I was so heavy. And I was like, man, like, I don't have nobody to talk to because the crazy thing is I started to lean on you a lot to have a lot of conversations with you. Yo, babe, what you think? What should I do? Which like you was my voice of reason. Yeah. And before you, it was my brother because I would just talk and, and not to say that he would give me good advice because I feel like you gave me really good advice. But my brother was in ear. Crazy. Yeah. And yeah. he would make me laugh through it yeah, and be yeah. like, man, like I'm okay. Yeah. Like this is this is a joke. Like why am I sitting here crying about this? And I feel like um, at that moment, I feel like I didn't have nobody to call. Mm. And I remember being in a car and everything just hit me, like everything. And I started crying. And I remember one of my friends texted me. And usually I don't talk to my friends about what I go through. Like, I, I don't. For some odd reason, I, I just didn't. And this one time I opened up and I let it out. And immediately after, I felt good. And I felt like... After that happened, I was like, 
it's okay to let it out to the people that love you. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, you don't have to just hold it on to one person, and then if that one person is not available when you need them to be available, now your world is ended. Yeah, it doesn't it have to be, be that, that way. way. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I had to learn that, like, there are people in my life that does love me, that does care about me, and I'm able and comfortable, and I should be comfortable to talk to them about it. But yeah. I will say, um, I want to say, like, a positive about like kind of like going through certain spells and not always like being like the happiest or like in the best feeling is that that's the times that really carves out to show me who I have. Mm. It's like, it's so easy to like know who I got when shit is lit. Of course. Like it's so easy to be like, oh, I know if I call this and yeah. say I got this, all of this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. But like when you're going through something and you can see how if you're distant, how who is gravitating towards you yeah and who is like trying to like like help or know that something is different yeah and it's like yo i'm here to assist mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it also puts you in a space to acknowledge what you're going through yeah for yourself yeah like it, i won't know like i have recently started saying like yo i'm really feeling a lot of shit that's going on like, I ain't in a space that I'm in the most happy. It's this birthday blues, too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Everybody saying? Everybody get that. So, but I, I started to, like, make sure that they knew that. Like, yo, I might go to the spot, but I ain't really feeling it. I ain't feeling a lot. So, if I don't show, I don't feel no type of way. Right. And it's like I'm owning my own shit. Like, right. Oh, yeah, I don't feel right. I don't feel good right mm, now. I you know what I'm saying? What I'm like, saying. Yeah, yeah, like, all right, yeah. And then once I'm able to say I'm in a space that I don't like, it takes me like a day, but then I say, now change it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, all right, so you want to feel this way for how long? Right, right. You beat yourself up already. Right. You know what I'm saying? So and now what? So what's the solution? What? Yeah, so it's like. Yeah, how do we get out of it? How do we get out of it? Yeah. Like, what's going to make you. Yeah. You want to do this, right? Fucking do it. Yeah. You want to be this, right? Fucking be it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I will say that I like the fact that I. I probably have been in spaces before where I would go through a battle by myself. Um, nobody really knows. Mm -hmm. And when I come back outside, people is like, yo, you're glowing or you're in a good, oh shit, like, yo, you vibrant. But they don't know what I had to right. do. So it feels good to have somebody that's like, I know why he's smiling. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, oh, Absolutely. I know, why he's, I know yeah. why he's walking like that. Oh. Yeah. That's, I see exactly mm -hmm. what he bought. This is for that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you come on with some new sneakers. I'm like, my baby needed to. Yeah, he it's needed okay. to. Get his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay. Yeah. Right. Because that, okay. that's me. Or, like, I put a fit together out of nowhere yeah. and it'd be like, you was going through something. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't. You want to shop as friend? I'd be like, all right, baby. This nigga is it's going okay. Through I understand. It. Yeah. Okay, get, your, get your shit off. Get your, get your lick back. <laughs> right. <laughs> I want to say, too, that seeing how you deal with yours mm -hmm. and like how you find like yo today you didn't have any motivation but you still worked hard and i was like that's a motivation to me mm -hmm. like i know that for you it's like yo this is some pain and like yo this is some like real like deep shit that i'm going through but in the midst of watching you go through it it inspires me mm -hmm. like it inspires me to be like all right, let's thug it out. Like, right. you pushing through. Like, when I'm hearing your success stories, it, I'm going, all right, let me match up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. then, you know, like, I, like you have mentioned to me before where you was like, yo, we're not in the same space no more. Like, you're in a different... I was just about to yeah. bring that up, babe. You were in my mind. Yeah, because you was yeah. like, yo, like, we're not in the same space no more. Like, you you, you did something to be I was low-key jealous. Yeah. Not jealous, but jealous maybe envious. and a, a, envious maybe a little bit because those are harsh words because right. you were really happy for right because i was very happy for we'll you still there but yeah. i will say i felt that yeah but i also had to understand too is like where i was at that where moment. you was but same thing like i see you in certain areas where it's like yo she's taking this part of her life very serious yeah whereas i'm not doing that and when i'm seeing her reap the benefits i can't be on some like Damn, because I saw what she had to go through. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm never, Same, yeah. Like, watching you, you know, I've grown up with having a religious background. So, mm. I'm, I've been familiar with God longer than you have. Right. But watching you learn and to find him 
brought my love and attention back to be mm -hmm. like, it's like getting reintroduced to an old friend. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, dang man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm not saying that he hasn't always been in my of life, course. but it was a di it was different when I was watching you get to know him. Because mm. it was like, I forgot that you did that. Oh. I, I forgot that you were merciful. I forgot that you yeah, yeah. were like, you, you're here to like give us lessons. Right. I knew that you were here to pray and be like, yo, I'm trying my best look out. But I forgot that you okay. had patience. Right. That you, I forgot that you forgive us. You, I was about to say that forgive yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, oh, oh yeah, yo, wait a minute. You don't judge that way. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? For the whole time, I was saying you wouldn't forgive me. Yeah. That you looked down on me. Like, yeah. you was disappointed in me. Yeah. So, you know, back to it is when we go through these spells where we're in a, a dark place, but separately, it's almost like I can't wait to see who gets out. Mm -hmm. And it's almost gives me motivation to be like, yo, if she gets out of her depression before I do, I got to hurry up and not rush it, but right. I'm trying to get out so that we could be happy together. So we can celebrate together. Celebrate together. Yeah. Like, it's almost like that. It's like, all right, all right. Like, I'm looking over and you're like, yo, I'm, I'm getting close. It's like when we take, when, when two people... Like in, in class, when you're friends, are you taking a test? Yeah, for sure. And like, you're like, when you almost done, you like yeah, looking over to be like, what you put for? It's, right? it's like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. What you, uh, what you, what you, what you did? Yeah. Like, 27. Nah, because I knew that, but mm -hmm. I'm, I was just making sure. Like, you right, know what I'm saying? Like right. certain things where it's right. like, I'm not trying to score higher than you, but I'm just going, yo. I'm trying I'm to like, get done with this I'm test so that I can have free time with you. Go have fun. <laughs> yeah. That's what it feels like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, it's, it's there's some type of beauty in like some of like the insecurities or the darkness, um, or just the unknown. Yeah. And I want to say one of the biggest beautiful things that I have noticed as of recent is the resilience mm -hmm. of you know today wasn't the best one, but I'm gonna keep swinging tomorrow. Right. Like I I've realized that sometimes like I have played the victim and or made myself like feel worse than I needed to mm -hmm. just so that I could just be like, yo, everybody feel sorry for me. And I feel that. now it's like, honestly, I don't need nobody to fucking feel sorry for me. Yeah. I, if I put myself in this shit, I'm gonna get myself out. And my track record shows that I have been successful. Yeah, at getting out. At getting the fuck out. Mm -hmm. I want to say yours too. I think that the reason why this shit is so beautiful is like I'm starting to see you become the person that you created. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. in a sense of, yo, know, you work out now. Yeah. So it's like somebody, I never saw you consistently. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've never saw you, I've never seen you, I've never seen you dedicated to the work. Yeah. Like, I've always seen you um, fantasize. Or I've always seen you just receive shit just because you woke up. That's true. Like I, it would be like, yo, something dope would happen. What happened to you, instead of you happening to it mm -hmm. or making mm -hmm. it happen. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? It's so funny that you say that because I feel like I'm in that moment of like, God used to, not even used to. He still blesses me, but back then I didn't have to do the work to get blessed. Like at first it was it like I did the work. Let's let's. Yeah, but it was but, like, I, but it was like handed to me. A lot of things was like. I don't know, it was just handed to me as if like, yo, this is this is your calling, I'm helping you. Right. But at some point you will have to do the work. And I knew that it was gonna hit me, and when it hit me, it, it hit, hard. hit hard. It hit hard. I said, what the hell am I supposed to do? Yeah. I didn't know, I, I'm, I mean, I'm still at some points where I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm not trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do, like what I'm called to do. I'm actually in a space of, I'm gonna keep moving, and God is gonna show me what I'm called to do. Like, that's how I feel now. I think that that is... Yeah. yeah. But that's what it looks like from my perspective from you. Yeah. Like, before it was like, you back in this classroom, you <laughs> taking a test, right. but the teacher, was, you know, you cool with the teacher. Right, so, so I know I'm going to get a good grade. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you like, oh, I know they're going to yeah. flex this for me. Like, you know what now I'm saying? Now I'm in a new class. And the teacher is New like, school, how about that? And they're like, who? Who are you? Who are you? Like, did you study? <laughs> right. Like, you first came in there and said, C, 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 C. And then you said, Phil. I'm like, what the fuck? Hold on. Who the, who the? Who the? <laughs> oh, great, you just paid for <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. it's like, oh. And now it's like, oh, shit. Now you're studying. I and you're going, wait a minute. I 
kind of like this. Right. Like, you're going into yeah. different, like, classes right yeah. now, and I see you doing it. Like, yeah. you're going into different classes, and, and you're actually listening. You're yeah. actually paying attention. Yeah. You're actually trying to see, like, what am I supposed to learn here? Yeah. And I think that that's fucking dope. Yeah. Like, <laughs> to see that, and, you know, like, to also to be excited to see, one, who do you become after you take all of that in? Right. And then two, you know, what's your next level? Yeah. Because this one has been a jump. Like, you have jumped so much, babe. Like, you have jumped so much from the person that I knew six months ago. Mm. Like, I think all of the other accolades that you received were great. But they don't mean anything to the championship ring that you're about to win yeah. when you get to this next, when you get past this. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, all that. of that shit was like, yo, you got MVP, yeah. you got Most Improved, <laughs> you got all of these awards. And it's like, but nothing more important than the actual championship. Yeah. I think that you're in your championship stage. Like, yeah. I can actually feel your stature, like, raised. Mm. It's, super, it's super dope to see it, babe. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Like, from all areas, babe. Like, yo, the consistency that you have been to try to learn more about God. I think that you are still in a space where you're trying to make it your own and really do your own thing. Yeah. Um, but you are working hard. Um, your health, just how you've been being more active and eating differently and like really paying attention to yourself yeah and not for anybody else like no. this ain't something where i'm like oh i ain't fucking with you because you look like this yeah this ain't oh i'm doing this for the gram so i can have better pictures like this is i'm doing it for my mental yo yeah. it, this and but and it, for my body but it feels like it yeah like it, this feels right because it's like, this is for me. Yeah. Even the relationships with your family and watching you from before where it's like you would get very hot and be impatient very quick. And now it's like you are more patient. You are more understanding. <laughs> it's beautiful to watch. Like, it's so dope. Like, I just want you to know, like, yo, you're extremely seen. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know maybe not all your friends might. Don't cry, babe. But maybe like your friends, like they are proud of you because when they see you, it's like you're yeah, like this glow. And what you do, you have like this glow. But I don't know how many people, and and each one of your friends is actually in that class with you, but one class. Yeah. Like you got a workout friend, you got a yeah, god yeah. friend, you got you know what I'm saying, like a mentally stability friend, yeah. you got a have fun friend. Like you got they all all different classes with you. Right. But to actually be able to see you from the other side and watch you go to work really like sit down and come up with plans i've seen you tackle meetings and be like yo like this is the next step of my brand and this is what i'm gonna do and it's so beautiful to see like my job is to always um one make sure that you feel safe um and then two provide like yeah. you know what i'm saying like my job is to like yo make sure that we got shit together so that we could shit live you make it worthwhile when you're doing the parts to make yourself the best partner mm. it, it means the world when i'm like okay i gotta knock this out because my partner is like mm -hmm. knocking this out yeah yeah i mean it feels good to have you babe i'm gonna say that you're a good support system for me i try to be yeah i really try to push me when i need a push you hard on me when I need you to be hard on me. Yeah. Yeah. Even when I don't want you to, you you show me. You always like um, remind me of who I am. Like, and I think that that's like the biggest thing that um, I love about you is because you always like circle me back to like you, Beyonce. <laughs> All the time. All the time. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> it's crazy because like some. It, it's like you 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 know what to say to me at the right times and like even if it's a time where i'm like babe you being too hard on me like you being too rough on me and this time i need you to be soft on me i still listen to it right like it still sinks into me the next day i still hear you 
going and I get motivated by it. I may not tell you. I can tell. <laughs> but I'll go in and like you'll see a change just based off of it and then we'll circle back to a conversation and you'll be like, I told you what I say. <laughs> you Beyonce. Yeah. Like you good, you got this. Yeah. Um, but I'm happy that I have a partner like you yeah. that's able to do that for me. Thank you, babe. And I'm hoping that I'm able to do that for you too. No, you do. Like yo, you you are a great support where you are hard on me. Yeah. <laughs> but I need it though because yeah. everybody that cares about me is soft. On always me. on your side. Yeah. They like nobody think I do wrong. No. You, like, you, uh, not, you know how everybody hates Chris? <laughs> you as everybody nah, loves Chris. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Yo, before my grandmother passed, my mother made a joke and said, if Chris caught a body, you would you would be on his side. And she said, oh, but what did they do to me? <laughs> I don't know like I make I make it where people want to root for me that's true you know what I'm saying and you do you too. are infectious babe yeah I'm not infectious like you you people gravitate to me because they're like yo I love her personality yeah for sure but you they be like oh my god I love this man's heart yeah I hate it <laughs> <laughs> everybody's like that's so next to me yeah. I'm mean, like yo I just need they be two like, seconds if anything I can trust Chris yo yeah it is crazy crazy yeah. oh my god it's crazy you don't know the half i'll be over here like i just met you why are you telling me this shit like the, and then he will be talking to people that he don't even know i call him the president because he be kissing babies everybody want to talk i to don't him. want that baby i don't, I don't want it. but i just feel like when his ass like people that he don't even know will come and have a full-blown conversation with him about they about their life what they did, if they caught a body, everything. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's crazy. Yes. People are always on my side. And then you always like give me the real. And the crazy thing is you always right. It's just that I still do shit my way. Because mm -hmm. I'll be like, nah, like I got to handle this shit my way. Yeah. And it would be like, my shit be like, <laughs> all right, you know how when you, you know how like when we going painting and shit. Yeah. And you know how like the instructor would come over and like, no, like you could just blend the colors like this and they yeah. do like a better and they help you smooth it out mm -hmm. so it can make the painting good. Mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, I don't need no fucking help. <laughs> and it's like, when my picture come back, it's ugly as hell, but you can still see what it what is. What's happening? Like, yeah. All right. Okay. Like, he did this. <laughs> so your shit be like the, yo, like it was dope. This looks <laughs> good. And my shit be fugly as hell. But I'll be like. It's mine though. It's my masterpiece. This is my fucking masterpiece. Yeah. Like that's yeah. how I think. Like, yeah. all right, I just need to see. All right, it's supposed to be water at the bottom, sky at the top. Okay, we're gonna do ships and buildings. Yeah. I just need to know what I'm painting. Yeah. But I'm a. I'm a fuck. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? In my own way. In my own way. <laughs> I gotta do it. Sorry, y'all. My camera had died. But yeah, I just feel like we are on the road to pure happiness. We're still healing. I feel like I'm still healing. Yeah, same thing. But, you know, I'm happy that I have you with me. Yeah, I'm happy that I have you with me. You're a great partner. You're a great partner. Yeah. 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 But yeah, um, I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. This wine got to I'm me a little bit. I'm about to say it. I'm hit. <laughs> I'm so, hit. So, uh, like I said before, make sure you Ooh. subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like this video, comment below, um, and you know, just tell me how you like the video, what next video you want us to do, and make sure that you turn on my post notifications so it'll let you know when I post. And stay tuned for the next video. I love you, babies. Baby, give me a kiss. Ooh, that's a juicy one. I love y'all. <laughs> Cheers!